how to reduce your screen time as a social media marketing agency owner. What's going on guys, my name is Joshua Daniel George and in this video I'm gonna give you a few tips, tricks, and a few little secret strategies on how you can work smarter, not harder, and get more done in less time by reducing the amount of distractions that you get on your phone and on your screen. No, I don't waste no time. What's going on guys, my name is Joshua Daniel George and welcome to a new video. So like I said in the introduction, today we're going to be looking at how you can reduce your screen time as an agency owner. Now for those of you that are new to the channel, I own a social media marketing agency where I help businesses get more appointments, clients, leads and sales through Facebook ads and alongside that I also have an education business, a coaching business where I teach you guys on how to do the same. So how to start your own agency, how to get your first client and how to scale it from there. Now obviously everything I do, literally almost everything I do guys involves a screen okay like I'm, I'm on my ipad i'm on my laptop i'm on my imac i'm on my phone i'm i'm watching television you know everything i do involves a screen and even when like i'm finished work for the day and i'll watch a documentary like it's still on you know i'm still looking at a screen literally almost everything i do apart from like a morning walk I'm in front of a screen. Even when I'm driving, like I realize like I'm, I'm looking at a sat nav, which is a, again, which is a screen, you know? So um, obviously, you know, we are surrounded by technology nowadays. And I've noticed that uh, my productivity has gone down but like, while my screen time has gone up, I've noticed my eyesight has gone worse. Like apart from these YouTube videos, 99% of the time I'm actually wearing prescription glasses. And yes, these are those blue light blocking glasses, uh, which do actually help. But other than that, you know, I'm still looking at a screen. Like you can't, um, you can't remove the screen from like an online business. And I, although this video was not necessarily requested, I do think it's a very important topic. And especially when you are an agency owner or an aspiring agency owner um, to basically apply these tips and tricks just to get the most out of your screen time while limiting the amount of total time that you have uh, looking at a screen. Now, whether that is your mobile device or your laptop or your computer or whatever, you know, if we can reduce it, you know, without it actually limiting the amount of work we're doing or, you know, maybe even improving the amount of productivity we have, then obviously, you know, all of that is, uh, you know, a bonus. So without rambling on too much, let's get into it. Now, obviously, Peter Drucker said it in his time management book, uh, what gets measured gets managed. And that is the first thing I do highly recommend is to actually look at your screen time. Look at how long you are on your screen for. Now on your iPhone, if you've got an iPhone, you can actually see this in your settings, just go to screen time. Now as you can see, mine is three hours and 14 minutes a day, which first time I've seen this, like as you can see, I've actually gotten this down from last week, because last week it was even worse. Um, I think last week it was like almost five hours and I've actually tried to reduce that as much as possible with a few little tips and tricks. Um, and another thing you can also do um, if you have this is switch on a notification. Um, I think it's that downtime button here. Schedule time away from the screen and app limits um, where basically after like two hours, I think it is on my phone, I will get a notification saying, you know, get off social media, blah, blah, blah. Um, you know, your time is done for today. Now, I remember like a year back when I was like at the height of productivity, I have, I've never worked as productive as back then. And um, I got this down to like 35 minutes a day. And literally like my business was better than ever. I was landing more clients, getting more meetings because the time that I was on the phone, I was productive, okay? And now, like obviously I next to my uh, agency, like I said, I do have my coaching business and a lot of ways I get in contact with you guys and you guys get in contact with me is through uh, my Facebook group, Lifestyle Design Community. By the way, guys, if you're not in that, make sure you uh, you know check it out. It'll be linked in the description box down below. There's a free social media course in there if you want to get started. But like I said, you know, I get in contact with you guys through that Facebook group, but also through Instagram as well, which is uh, basically two like apps and uh, pieces of software that I use on my phone. So more often than not, when I'm on my phone, like I try and convince myself that it's for business purposes because, you know, if I'm in contact with you guys and I'm helping you guys out, you guys could be a potential client of mine for my coaching company. So that is the way I, used, I think of it. But more often than not, you know, I'm just mindlessly on social media, 
uh, like I said, trying to convince myself that it's productive and that it, you know it's an income producing activity, which it is not. So this is something that I am really, really going to focus on in the next few weeks is to try and limit the amount of time that I'm actually on social media and on my phone and the time that I am on my phone, you know, try and keep, be as productive as possible and rather than scrolling and consuming content, either create content or reply to messages. Okay, so the second uh, tip, which is actually one that I, uh, which is, was advised to me by a couple of people, I've, I've heard this a few times before, uh, is to not take your phone with you to the bathroom or the kitchen or dining room, depending on where you eat. Now, uh, we all, you know, we, we've all done this, you, you, you go in the toilet, or the bathroom and you take your phone with you to scroll or look at memes for a while and uh, for you guys like you'll know what I mean you'll end up with like red spots on like the top of your legs where you've been like leaning on your legs to like be on your phone and like don't 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 pretend you guys don't do it because everyone does this and uh, like l- that could make a quick bathroom break turn into like a 20 maybe even 30 minute uh, break where you're just mindlessly on your phone and the same goes for in the kitchen you know when when you're when you're let's say when you're eating like people say it anyway like if you really want to be conscious of what you eat and feel fuller and more satiated then look at your food rather than at a screen or watch the television you know, while you're you're actually eating so like those are two things that um the bathroom one i've actually incorporated for a while because i now um you know, try and keep my phone in my room as much as possible. But the kitchen one is going to be a new one for me as well because when I eat, I usually either um, watch YouTube or uh, just watch like, like a, a documentary on my phone on like Netflix or anything like that. So that is another thing that I'm going to try and limit uh, going forward. And as you see, guys, like, I'm not trying to like preach to you guys like here or teach you guys these tips and tricks. Like these are things that I'm going to be implementing as well and like documenting how that goes as you know as I go along. So like I said. Try and not bring your phone with you if you go to the bathroom or to the kitchen. Okay, number three is use apps to reduce the availability of your devices. Now, what I mean by that is apps like Forest, which is a um, mobile app, and what it basically does is it plants a tree. Um, I think actually at the time I downloaded this, they actually did this. So every single tree you planted on the app, um, actually got planted in real life. I'm not 100% sure that is still the case, um, but like that was one of the reasons why I downloaded it. And what this app allows you to do is basically lock your screen for a specific amount of time. So as you can see here, it's on 25 minutes. Now, if I plant this tree, it will plant a virtual seed in the ground, and then after 25 minutes, a tree will have grown. Now, if you go onto your phone before the 25 minutes are up, you will get a notification saying, you know, you've got like two seconds to get off your phone again. Um, and if you don't, that tree will die. And it's more of a psychological thing because you can see like every day you've got like a, a sort of platform, like a dashboard, and you can see how many trees have died on that day. And like, it's, it's such a weird app, but it works, okay? It really works. So if you are struggling to get off your phone, but you need it near you, because that's obviously one of my next tips is to remove the phone from uh, from where you are. But if you need your phone near you or you're expecting a call or every now and again you do need to check for messages, then use this Forest app. So in the 25 minutes is obviously the Pomodoro technique where you wait for 25 minutes and then take a five minute or 10 minute break after it. So what you can do in those 25 minutes to prevent yourself from actually going on your phone is to switch on Forest for 25 minutes, then give yourself a five minute break before switching it on again. Now for the Mac, I'm not, I think you can actually get this for Windows as well. But for Mac, this is a great app called Self Control. I use this on a daily basis, actually, when I was in university to uh, basically limit my time on uh, Facebook, Instagram, Ninegag, Reddit, and all those other uh, basically unnecessarily apps and platforms, etc. I used to literally set this on for like eight hours a day. So from nine to five, I was basically in study mode and I would not go on any of those, uh, like I said, apps or platforms. Now, obviously, I do need Facebook. Uh, or especially the business manager for uh, my agency so that I can't really do that and nor can I limit, uh, for example, the amount of time on Facebook because obviously I do have my community on there and like I said, I do uh, basically, you know, offer my, um, like basically provide value to, you know, get people into the coaching in on Facebook. So I can't really use this as much as I'd like to, but especially for, for example, YouTube, um, and to be, to be fair, YouTube is like the, the, the biggest one. But uh, for example, YouTube, if you don't use Facebook, Facebook, Instagram on your uh, laptop, you know, if you want to remove 
those temptations, then self-control is a great app. And by the way, uh, self-control is free. I'm not 100% sure, but at the time, uh, the time when I purchased Forest, which was years back, I think it was five euros, which um, is money well spent, to be fair. Okay, so number three, again, it's like obviously the most logic tip I can give you guys, but I just want to reiterate how important this is and turning off notifications. Okay, nowadays I only have notifications on for the lifestyle design coaching WhatsApp group, um, just like um, iMessage and basically uh, phone calls, like other than that, even calendar um, notifications, email notifications, any other WhatsApp group notifications are off and uh, just my, my own like WhatsApp notifications are on silent. Um, Facebook Messenger is off. Like literally all the other like unnecessary apps are off. Everything is off apart from the WhatsApp group, the mastermind group, the coaching group, and uh, like I said, phone calls and iMessage. And then another quite unorthodox um, tip is to delete Instagram. Again, like I said, you know, I have my coaching business and Instagram is basically a way for me to stay in touch with you guys and help you guys provide more value to you guys, but also, you know, basically offer um, or basically promote my coaching services. And without that, so if I only had my agency, I think I would have deleted Instagram a long time ago. And I know that is a big statement, a big shout, but um, I honestly think I would have because Instagram, like I will not sign a client off of Instagram for my agency, okay? Now you can do outreach on Instagram, but I've, I've noticed that I can't do it because I will, while I'm waiting for the reply, I'll just scroll on Instagram, I'll go onto the explore page and then five hours later, I'm, I, you know, I'm, I'm looking at interior design uh, posts from like an architecture company in Sweden. You know, I, like, literally it, it's too tempting to uh, use Instagram as an outreach method. So uh, like I said, without the coaching, I probably would have deleted Instagram a long time ago. And if you do not do any kind of B2C service, so if you only focus on your agency B2B, then I would highly recommend to delete Instagram. Okay, as you can see here, delete Instagram. And yes, you know, this might mean that I will lose some followers uh, because if you guys are all deleting Instagram, you won't see my posts and content. But literally, guys, it will be worth it. If this would make you more productive, then just go for it and delete the app. Okay. Number four is one that I have actually sort of figured out myself. I haven't actually heard this one before, which is turning your screen on black and white. Now, I'm not 100% sure how that works on uh, Android, but on the iPhone, what you can do is you can turn the grayscale on, which will make your entire phone black and white. And just think, guys, that your phone is basically created um, in such a way that it's that it's addictive, okay? They want to keep you on that phone as long as possible. Apps are created with so much like color and like saturation that they want they basically want you to be addicted to those colors. They want that to you to get that dopamine, you know? They want you to to be on the app as long as possible. That is why Instagram looks the way it is, that's why Facebook looks the way it is. Everything is carefully designed to keep you on those apps for as long as possible. Now, if it's in black and white, it's not as appealing, okay? The images aren't as nice looking, nothing is as bright and as colorful, and you'll notice that you'll get bored quicker. Plus, if I see my app, my phone is in black and white, then it's just a reminder to myself, oh yeah, the reason why it's in black and white is because it's too distracting, and then I go back to what I'm actually supposed to be doing. So I've actually written it down for those that actually wanna do this. All you need to do is go to general, uh, so settings, general, accessibility, display, um, and then go to color filters and that is when you get this and like I said um, The color filters will be switched on what you can do is switch this off and then click on grayscale And then your phone will be in black and white and you'll notice that this although it's like quite an extreme thing to do It's a very very effective way of reminding yourself to get off your phone Okay, and number five is to eradicate all distractions now like I said, you know one of the biggest distractions for me are YouTube and Facebook and for those uh, you've got like two Google Chrome plugins uh, one is called the newsfeed eradicator which as you can see will make your newsfeed look like this you cannot see any of the posts or the comments or anything like that um, all you can see is a quote which is supposed to be motivational and other than that you know you cannot see any type of distraction um, so this is one that I highly recommend I've had this for about a year now um, obviously you know, for the Facebook group, this is not ideal, uh, but, you know, desperate times call for desperate measures. If you want to be more productive, then this is definitely a highly recommended um, plugin for Google Chrome. Like I said, Newsfeed Eradicator, it is free, so uh, definitely 
you know, give it a try. And then the last one is, it's actually got a weird name. It's called like the YouTube recommended remover or anything like that. Um, if you type in YouTube in like the Google Chrome extension store, you'll get it. It's like one of the first ones there. And it will literally make your YouTube look like this. So no subscriptions, no home, no trending, no nothing, no notifications. So all you can do on YouTube now is search for a specific video. So this way you are not entirely blocking out YouTube. So you can still use it for like a research or like educational purposes, but you cannot just like uh, basically get... Uh, like your eye can't be caught by a, uh, a thumbnail with clickbait that just makes you want to click on it and like I said five hours later you're looking at conspiracy theories of you know if we ever actually landed on the moon or not okay so those are my tips for today guys like I said you know uh, the the whole reason behind this video is to help me you know to remind me that I need to reduce the amount of time that I am uh, on my phone and on my screen and to make you guys more productive in less time so you can get more done in less time work less but achieve more and you know get your agency up and running and off the ground like I've mentioned a couple of times in this video already I have my own coaching business where I help you guys basically help get your first client and get your agency off the ground up and running and if you need help with that if you are serious about starting your own social media agency it is linked in the description box down below like I said I offer coaching it's a monthly subscription where you get access to me via whatsapp you also get access to that mastermind group uh, on whatsapp where i do have the notifications on for uh, you get access to weekly group calls via zoom every single sunday and of course you get access to my lifestyle design mastery course for those of you that have made it this far thank you so much for watching please leave this video with a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more also click on that little bell icon so you get a notification every single time i upload thanks again for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video